Hello guys, welcome back to InfoSec Patch Channel. In today's video, what we're going to be talking about is router on a stick, also known as inter-VLAN routing. So we're going to have two PCs routing between one router, one switch, so we're going to be passing traffic and setting up the VLANs on switch one, going out to router one, coming back to the switch and going to its appropriate um, host. We'll ping in from VLAN 20, it's going to go to VLAN 10, and vice versa. And it's all going to be in this little segment right here. Okay, perfect. So let's get started. Let's open up. We're going to do this in Packet Tracer. And I already have a little bit of the configuration here. Um, so I just didn't go back and forth and waste time documenting. So what we're going to be doing is adding IPs to the PCs. We're going to be adding two PCs. We're going to be creating the VLANs 10 and, 10 and 20 creating a trunk between this interface going up to the router, setting up the router, and testing it. Okay, perfect. So let's get into it. So PC1, let's bring this out here, and then PC2, PC1, PC2, perfect. Okay, so let's move this over. We can associate that with the switch. Or we can just get a 29, a 28, 2811, because we want to use fast ethernet. Let's go to a switch, let's go use a 2960, that should be fine. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and IP this bad boy, okay? And then we'll connect it. So for PC1, we're gonna be using 192.168.10.1 with a 24-bit mask. And the gateway essentially is gonna be 192.168.10.254, okay? Because the router is gonna be the gateway. Perfect, so that machine is done. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for this bad boy. Okay, IP configuration, and this is gonna be for the VLAN 20. 20 .1, 192.168.20.254, because that's gonna be the gateway for PC2. Perfect. All right, now let's go ahead and connect these bad boys. From fast Ethernet uh, zero to, we're gonna put this on two, and we're gonna put this guy on three. And then we're going to put one to the router, zero, zero. Perfect. OK. So as I said in probably previous videos, you see it's red here because by default, the interfaces on a router are shut down. And on a switch, they're up. See, as you see, uh, I want to log into the switch now. We can open this up go into enable mode. So if we do show interface status, you can see that these two are up, but port one going up to the router is shut down. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead and configure this, the switch. So first we're gonna go to, I'd love to verify a before and after type deal. So show VLAN brief, we have no VLANs, everything is in the default VLAN one, okay? Perfect. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and configure the VLANs. So I'm going to do VLAN 20 or 10. We can name it um, Jack VLAN 20. We can name it uh, Pat. Okay, Jack and Pat. I don't know where I came up with those names, but I guess Pat because of me, <laughs> I guess. Um, so we can just do do uh, let's save the config. So now if we exit out of here, we do show show VLAN brief. We can see Jack and Pat, um, the VLANs created. So now we're going to associate Jack with port 2 and then Pat with port 3, okay? Because that's that's our config here. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to configure, whoops, man. Configure terminal. Okay, and now we're going to do interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2. Whoops, 0 slash 2. And we're going to do that's for VLAN 10. Okay, so switch port mode access because it's going to be an access port. And then switch port access VLAN 10. Okay, and then we can throw a description on there which is jack. PC. Okay, perfect. Right, and that's Jack's PC. So on 20, now we're going to go ahead 
now you see here it's doing span and tree and associating the interface and all that good stuff in the background. So now let's do VLAN 20. Okay, so let's go ahead and X out of here. Exit. Now we do interface, fast ethernet, 0 slash 2, uh, 0 slash 3, I'm sorry. And now we do switch port mode access. Okay, switch port access VLAN 20. Description, pat, PC. Perfect. So now, if we do show VLAN brief, we can see these two ports and interfaces are set up. So now let's go ahead and do port 0 slash 1 that's going up to the router. Okay. So we can do configure terminal. And this is going to be a trunk port. Okay. So interface, fast Ethernet. 0 slash 1 and do switch port mode trunk okay and now we do switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10 20 okay of course these are these are the VLANs that we want to pass through the switch going up to the router okay perfect so let's save that and end now if we do show running config, we can see port one right here of the configuration, port two and port three. So these are our bad boys that are gonna be uh, set up for the trunking that's going up to the, switch, the router, sorry. So now let's go ahead and go into the router and configure this guy. Okay, we can hit no here. Let's go ahead and hit enter. So let's do the same thing. Show interface status. Oh, show IP interface brief. Okay. There's no, there's, it's not nothing assigned to it. It's down. All that's all that good stuff because I said in the beginning of the video, routers or router interfaces are shut down by default. Perfect. So let's go ahead and go ahead and configure terminal, and we're going to do interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero. And we're going to say no shutdown so we can take the physical interface and bring it up. Okay, perfect. So now we X out of here. Now we can do interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10. Now look what happens. Now we have a sub interface. This is where, you know, the big part is that what makes InterVLAN routing possible. Okay, because it's one lot, it's one physical um, interface, but then we have virtual interfaces or sub interfaces inside of that. Okay, so now if we do the question mark here. We can do something that's very important. We have to do encapsulation because we have to tag it dot one Q, and then we have to associate this with a VLAN tag, which is going to be dot uh, excuse me VLAN ten. Okay, so now we can do IP address one ninety two one sixty eight. Dot ten dot two fifty four with a twenty four bit mask. Perfect. Okay, now we can end. Show IP interface brief. Now we can see that's up. Okay, but we're not done yet because we still need to get me in there. We have uh, we have Jackie Boots over there, but now we need Patty Boot Patty Patty Dukes. Okay, so configure terminal interface. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20. Whoops, dot 20. Okay, now that came up. Now we can do the same thing. Encapsulation dot 1Q 20. IP address 192.168.20.254 dot dot with a 24 bit mask. Cool. Okay, perfect. So now we should be good to go. Now, on a, I don't know why I got locked up for a second. We can do a show IP route. Now we can see these two routes are connected. Okay? Perfect. So now let's go to our PC. Okay? We configured the trunks, right? We brought these up. Now we should be good to go. So now let's go into PC1, or PC2, I'm sorry. And I think that's mine, Pat. So if we do an IP config, our IP is 192.168.20.1, and my gateway is 254, which is the router. Let's see if we can ping it. See if our um, 
router on a st stick configuration works. And now that is working. Perfect. And the reason being is because we're tagging that VLAN through interface 01 going out to the, to the router. Now let's see if we can get from PC1 through the switch to the router, back to the switch, and get to Jack's PC over here on VLAN 10. That's going to be a good test, right? Let's go ahead and do that. So let's do 10.1. Let's get a second to ARP. And now it's replying. So that's pretty much the configuration. And we can do um, that 10 10.254, which we know should work because it went through the router to get back to the PC. So that is router on a stick in a nutshell. It's a very cool configuration if you have a small network for a small office or if you just want to learn how to do some routing. Um, hopefully this has been you know, informational and informative for you guys. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any recommendation videos to send me, I'm all for it. I'm up for making it, up for the challenge. And this is going to be some of the routing uh, videos that I want to be doing. I want to probably do an EIGRP, OSPF, maybe RIP. I think I said this in previous videos, but I really want to get into it and maybe some ASA stuff, do some, you know, firewalls, some natting, some padding and all that good stuff. So this is it for this router on a stick into VLAN routing video. So please subscribe again, share with your family. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys. And thank you 